I don't. I just don't. Sarah Spooks uploaded. This is my third video tonight. Today is the 22nd of April. I have my handy dandy coffee. That's going to help me get through this one great, great news I have for you guys is that my amazing buddy, Mr. Sir Josh has created a playlist of Sir Spooks videos for me to go through. He's done that for me for nukes. He's done that for me for bizarre. Now he's doing this for me for Sir Spooks. Yes, I know I'm only doing one reaction a week, but I need your help, guys. I hate being the YouTuber that says this or do this because I think it's annoying myself, but it's just how things work on this platform. Liking and subscribing and leaving comments. That is the only way for my channel to grow. To throw all that down the stairs like I did to my grandma, we're going to watch today's video with Sir Spooks called Nine Scary Videos That Will Ruin your sleep. Let's get into it. Sir Hello Spooks. everyone, my name is Sir Spooks and today we'll take a look at nine scary videos. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more scary content. All right, with that said, let's begin. Number nine. This first video comes to us from a TikTok account run by a woman named Ali, who decided to pull out her phone and record a video just for something to do to pass the time while she and her friend were stuck in their car, as they had recently broken down while in the middle of the Appalachian Mountains. Throughout some portions of the video, we see Ali and her friend dancing and singing along to some music in the car before Ali eventually decides to step outside of the vehicle, which proves to be a gigantic mistake as you'll see in just a couple of seconds here. I've got that ever seen like Outlast, Blair Witch. That was a clear hay. That was a southern hay. That was locked. These girls are so clueless. Unlock it for me. Something weird has happened with this car. What's going on? Is there a vibrator going off? After only a couple of seconds walking around the car outside, a mysterious deep man's voice can be heard shouting hey from somewhere nearby but they don't seem to be too frightened by this and continue to pace around outside for a few beats before eventually trying to get back into the car, but the alarm is now going off. Eventually though, the two girls manage to get back inside the vehicle and it's here in which they find themselves at the center of yet another scare that they can't quite explain. Watch this. It's the same shit. It's, it's, I'm sorry. Something weird has happened with this as always, but I'm just a girl. Waiting for connection. Bluetooth connection uh, success. What was that? And this ditzy girl. I do not like this. Um, oh my god. 
Let's get out of here. Go. Does it run? Is it working? Yes. It is. It's working. <sighs> Thank God. A mysterious series of knocking noises can be heard on the car's exterior, even though nobody can be seen outside whatsoever. Thankfully, the two girls manage to drive off into the night and make it out of the area perfectly safe. But it makes you think, what could have possibly happened to them had they not managed to start their car? According to this TikTok user, if you guys ever find yourself stuck in the Appalachian Mountains, here are some tips for staying safe. First, if you hear somebody shouting your name, you should ignore it at all costs. Also, if you feel like you're being stalked or chased, do not run whatsoever. I just need a second of process. They had no sense of urgency. They had no sense of panic. Someone's knocking on their window. All I see is just. You heard a hey or like more a southern hey. I can't make, make a southern accent. You had a southern man that sound like he is a mechanic with a cowboy hat saying hey. Yeah, I broke your neck to hear it too. And again, no sense of urgency. Your car was locked. And it's no panic. Just. And it's like. I don't. Like, I don't want to sound like Tate. Fucking hate his point of views. But it's like. It's just situations like this is why certain types of women get in situations where they end up on the news. And there's just no sense of just standing your ground, knowing when to run, panicking, uh, protecting. It's just very nonchalant. Like if I was in that particular situation, I won't be panicking. But I'll be at least alert and be just looking over my shoulders. And the smartest thing to do is, hey, stay in the car. I'm going to see if I, if I can fix the car. But just have 911 dialed or maybe just record something. But don't leave the car. Just stay here. I'm just going to pop the hood. Maybe something disconnected or maybe I could just do something and just go back in, call the cops or call AAA, something, depending on the time of day, whatever. But I would not want to put the person I'm with passenger, let it be my wife or let it be just a person I'm with, like one of my boys. I don't want to put them in danger. They see they, if they see something happened then obviously they could jump out and try to help me out or whatever, call cops. But again, just a sense of urgency, just a sense of just situation, just environmental awareness. That's really all I could really say. <laughs> Women. Number eight. Imagine you're just trying to enjoy a nice peaceful night while on a cruise ship, only for the night to be interrupted by the arrival of a seemingly otherworldly guest that was definitely not invited. Okay. That seems to be In what your happened room? to the people on this cruise, as shown by a Reddit user known as Tasty Beverage, who posted the following piece of footage to the UFO subreddit just a couple of weeks ago. He says the footage is not his, but rather from New Fork. The upload Ooh. also writes that the video from the New Fork website has audio of the oh. witnesses' reactions, but it somehow got stripped when he uploaded the video here. UAP as what unknown air projectile witnesses can be heard saying more or less that they got it referring to them being able to capture the strange UFO type object on camera a second person can be heard getting excited when it doubles back. 
So what do you guys think about this strange video? I don't hear shit. Do you think that this footage truly shows authentic videographic evidence of the existence of UFOs? Or is the video just not good enough to convince you? Be sure to let me know your thoughts and theories in the comments below. Why is all these sightings never people who have galaxy cameras? These sightings are always people who don't have galaxy cameras. Or they say there was audios, people confirming they hear or saw this, that. Where is that video footage? Bitch. I ain't trying to see a silent film. I'm not trying to purposely advertise the Galaxy phone, but I take images like this. You can see the damn craters of the moon. That's from my camera. That's not from my telescope. That's from my camera. 100 times zoom. Why? It's like these sightings are never by my phone company. If we had our phone brand, this might be footage out there with our phone brand doing it, but it's never on these videos. This is why we got to get rid of iPhones and make sure everybody has a Galaxy or at least some type of Android phone because camera's better. Simple as that. I said it. Fight me. This bone chilling video was posted to the haunted subreddit by a user known as The Clownin. A the subreddit clownin? that is dedicated to hosting paranormal news, strange occurrences, sightings, and other phenomena related to haunted places or ghostly experiences. Phenomena. The footage in question here was filmed on a home security camera in the middle of the day, and for the first couple of seconds, seems to be just a random, unexciting video of nothing going on inside of a typical home. However, it doesn't take long for this seemingly innocent video to be flipped on its head. Okay. Take a look at the door in particular right about here and see if you notice anything unusual. Okay, I'm looking, staring. I'm staring, staring at you. Yep. Out of nowhere, a mysterious shadow person can be seen moving along the wall before it seemingly vanishes into thin air yep. just a couple of seconds after it can be seen on camera. The person who uploaded the video to Reddit says that the video was not filmed by him, but rather a trusted member of his family, which he says makes the whole thing a lot scarier to him. It's always not to the this person. Day, this strange video has not been solved and the Reddit user doesn't have any theories as to what could be going on here either. Let's just hope that this family can come together and figure out this strange mystery before it gets the better of them. It's always not the person who filmed it. That... Over on the paranormal subreddit, a user writes about his experience with something ghostly recently as well as an accompanying video that is guaranteed to make the hairs on your neck stand up. Mm -hmm, that. So it's doing it again. That switch down there is on. You see it past my shaking. This one is on, okay? It's... Mom. See what I mean? It's... You can hear it, you... Mom, 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 nope. nope. For additional backstory, the uploader's brother found himself alone at their mom's house, presumably checking on their dog, Oscar, while their mom and stepdad were at work. The hallway light began flickering on and off, prompting the brother to start recording in hopes of capturing the strange phenomenon. Phenomenon. After reviewing the footage multiple times, the uploader is left perplexed, believing that there might be something happening beyond their understanding. Despite living in the house for over two years, the uploader admits to sensing strange vibes, but had never personally witnessed such occurrences. Okay. The hallway light is controlled by two switches, one near the brother and another at the end of the hallway. In the okay, video, I see it. viewers can see the light toggling on and off, with the switch visibly moving on two occasions. The first instance shows the switch moving halfway down, an occurrence deemed highly unusual by the uploader. The second instance is more pronounced, with the switch slamming down, prompting the brother to swiftly vacate the area. The uploader seeking the opinions and thoughts of others on the video, curious about their interpretations, especially since their mother still resides in the house and recounts similar eerie experiences. 
The video is quite weird and creepy indeed, and it's definitely something I would not want to experience in my house. True. In fact, if this were to happen to most people, I think it would be their sign to start looking for a new home to move into the very Arson. next day. Arson. And for good reason. Arson. Hopefully, if this place does turn out to be haunted by something, that the uploader will be able to get a new place to live where he doesn't have to worry about being visited by this strange presence. Not even new place, nuke the place. A Reddit user known as Maximus Killer posted a strange and unsettling video to the ghost subreddit recently that will make you afraid to go to sleep tonight with the lights off. Five second video. The footage in question was filmed outside via a home security camera that was set up by the homeowner. And initially, the video appears to be mundane and uninteresting. But that changes rather quickly when this happens out of nowhere. Oh. Suddenly, a transparent figure seems to run across the screen before vanishing into thin air, much to the confusion and terror of the uploader when he reviewed the footage at a later date. The video is still quite new, so it shouldn't come as a big surprise that the mystery has not been solved yet, but we can only hope that it's a matter of time. If the video does turn out to be real and this is a legitimate ghost that appears in the footage, then it seems as if this is videographic proof that even paranormal entities need to get their cardio in. It reminded me of two different characters. Like, it felt like it had like a bird body, like an ostrich body. So actually, no, three then. It either is an ostrich, it's either Coco from Foster Home Imaginary Friends, or it's the Roadrunner because of how I ran. Or maybe Doduo from Pokemon. Four. Or Oscar the Ostrich from Donkey Kong Country. That's to be considered a four since I said ostrich in the beginning. Yeah. So ostrich, Doduo. Coco from Fossil Home Imaginary Friends or Roadrunner. Sleepovers are fun gatherings where people, often children or teenagers, stay overnight at someone else's house. True. They're a way for friends to spend extended time together, yep. typically involving lots of fun activities. Yup. But you most Getting certainly wouldn't be in Buga to come across too. normal when you're at a friend's house for a sleepover, would you? Well, this video by TikTok user BB1150 shows that actually, you might want to be on the lookout for that. In the video, the upload can be heard getting audibly frightened by something, at which point he does his best to wake up his sleeping friend. Although it was difficult to do so, eventually <coughs> the uploader gets his friend out of bed and it's here in which some truly bizarre noises can be heard. Have a listen. You'll hear, listen. I'm angry he's up. I wear the same shirt as I am. Did he fall asleep in jeans? Is that a Halo outfit? Get out of this room. I can't sleep in here this year. The Bro. uploader gets up to check his closet, probably expecting the source of the noise to be coming from there because that's where it sounded the closest. But he discovers that there is nobody Wait, that's a inside. Cop outfit? That that's the a Halo video outfit. That was posted shows the uploader wandering around the house just a little bit more, perhaps not wanting to give up his investigation wanting instead to put an end to the terrors he has been facing. In the footage here, the uploader can be seen slowly opening a door in his house and peering in. No Watch one, this. No one explained this to me though. This might be the last time. 
Why are you sleeping in jeans? Both of ya. It's like... And it runs. Lingering in the darkness, a terrifying figure can be seen looming in the room if you turn the brightness up. It takes the uploader a couple of seconds to notice this, but when he does, he closes the door instantly and locks it before the video ends abruptly, leaving us all to wonder what happened next. Who was this strange and creepy visitor that was in the room? Did it mean the uploader and his friend any harm? Thankfully, it seems as if the uploader is okay, but I think it's safe to say that this incident ruined sleepovers for him and his friend forever. Yeah, I mean, they ruined it by sleeping in jeans, but... Yeah, I guess so. In case you guys weren't on the internet at all these past few days, a solar eclipse occurred on April 8th, 2024, that was visible across a band covering parts of North America, from Mexico to Canada, and crossing the United States. A solar eclipse happens when the moon obscures the sun by passing between Earth and the sun. When the apparent diameter of the moon is greater than that of the sun, total solar eclipse takes place, obstructing all direct sunlight. Only a small portion of the Earth's surface experiences totality, with the partially eclipsed sun visible over a wider area. The apparent diameter of the moon was 5.5% greater than the mean, just 4 miles north of the Mexican town of Nazas, Durango, the eclipse's longest period of totality lasted 4 minutes and 28.13 seconds, with a magnitude of 1.0566. However, the solar eclipse that day wasn't the only interesting thing happening in the sky that day as it turns out. What's evidenced by this strange TikTok video posted by a user known as the Aaron Don Donst X. In the video, we see the uploader trying to point his camera toward the sky doing his best to capture the breathtaking solar eclipse occurring. The However, numbers! in doing so, the man ended up filming something much more unexpected and shocking. Take a look. Yeah, I said a whole bunch of numbers. Right. I don't know what the fuck that means. Oh, I've seen this. Yo, what the Yo. Out of nowhere, Something strongly resembling a UFO can be seen flying rapidly in the clouds for about one second before it disappears within the clouds, while stunned people on the ground can be heard saying, what is that? Even if this doesn't turn out to be a UFO, there's no doubt in my mind that this video is real, especially judging by the chorus of reactions from the street. Tons of people can be heard talking about the That's object a just a few That's seconds a after it flies by in the sky which would certainly be hard to fake in a video like this one. But what do you guys think was going on here? That's Shenron. Do you think it's possible that a UFO was flying around at the no. exact same time as the solar eclipse? Is it Dragonair or Shenron? If you think so, do you think the alien life forms did this on purpose? Yes. I'm curious as always to hear your thoughts. It's a Pokemon. Or Rayquaza. It's Rayquaza. <laughs> This next video comes to us from a man named Rusty Tucker who uploaded the chilling footage to his YouTube channel on July 4th, 2016. After watching the video, you will definitely never want to step foot in a cemetery again. Rusty visited the Evergreen Cemetery okay. in Judsonia, Arkansas to investigate the legend of the ghost mother. In the early 1900s, a young mother had a baby who disappeared near the cemetery. She searched the cemetery for several days and nights and was found dead in its midst. She was buried where she was discovered, and it's rumored that her ghost still wanders the cemetery in search of her baby. Rusty visited the night before he filmed and heard some eerie sounds of crying and moaning. He was too scared to leave the truck, so he returned later with his drone to film from the air. This is what he found. Oh, this is drone footage. Did 
Did you see it? Yeah. If you look carefully, you should be able to make out what appears to be some kind of a ghostly apparition crouching down beside this tombstone, staring at the camera ominously before it eventually decides to stand up and move away from the camera's line of sight. Amazingly, Rusty has the bravery to run after the ghost to see if he can chase it, but it's no longer anywhere to be seen. At the end of the video, Rusty explains that he had plans to go back to the cemetery again to investigate this situation a little bit more down the road. However, no such video was ever published on his channel, and seeing as how this video is 8 years old at this point, I think it's safe to assume that he won't be making that return visit after all. But who knows, maybe it's for the best. Like, he didn't even attempt to follow the ghost, he just went an inch, he's like, nah, I'm good, I'm, I'm chill, I'm just gonna leave. Huh? That was not an attempt. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh. A man named Dustin Lee Frazier posted a video to his TikTok account on March 19th, 2024, in which he explains that he's been witnessing some strange things while working at an Appalachian Mountains hotel. While walking through a restaurant. the of the building, just seconds after he presses record, this can be heard. No, because I'm freaking out, guys. Um, so I just Snapchatted um, my friend, right? And I, like, walked through. I was... Here's the alarm. Alarm's going off. So I walked through, I was walking through here, and whenever you get right here, you can see something f behind me. And I like watched it, I, I did like a playback. Um, One of the hotel's alarms can be heard blaring for no apparent reason, much to the confusion and terror of Dustin. He then turns the alarm off from the kitchen and says that there is a spot in the area in which he can see something behind him but okay. only in that one spot. He says that it was noticeable in the following Snapchat video that he sent to a friend. Watch this. I don't know. I just... Like, I feel like I need to go to the doctor, but, like, I'm constantly just, like, nauseous. And I don't really know why. Like, I have tried... have tried... have tried... have tried to, like, take medicine for it and stuff but i i don't know it doesn't seem like it really does surely enough if you look right behind dustin at this point of the video you can see an absolutely terrifying figure standing directly behind him with a scary face it can then be heard whispering something that is hard to understand medicine for it and stuff but i i don't know it doesn't seem like it really does anything Um, or play again. Whenever I... In the second video that Dustin made, you can see the exact same figure appear once again, but this time in a different location. Dustin is walking around while at the job, still very shaken about what happened last time, for obvious reasons. But when he walks into the room here, you can see the entity appear in the mirror. Look at this. Oh. The Undertaker? But the terror doesn't end there because about 30 seconds later, after Dustin opens a door that leads down a long corridor, you can see this appear as well. This is more context. Is it possible that this is the exact same figure that's lurking around the building 
or is there multiple? Regardless of how many, why is this figure targeting Dustin for just doing his job? Is the figure trying to harm him? I think it would be in Dustin's best interest to get a new job ASAP yes. before something horrible happens. Or just commit arson. And that was nine scary videos. I hope Again, the solution to all problems comes with fire. Either do something to get fired or fire up the place. If I had a job that was spookifying my life, I will get a new job. 100%. Have them fire you so you can collect unemployment for the temporal being until you find a new job. So do something to get fired. As in, bottle of vodka or some malt liquor, a towel, and a lighter. And then a little bit of a... Oh, a little bit of a... Achoo! The great thing is, this is the third time us watching this viral video that been blowing up TikTok. But at least with all three people who we seen this content from, all gave us different perspectives, contexts, and clips. Bizarre gave us the very base part of the TikTok clip. Nuke gave us some added audio. Those three different occasions where the audio's done its thing. Then you have the source book version where they add a little bit more with more actual physical appearance. So I think that's kind of a good medium. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video of nine videos that have ruined your sleep. This is the third spooky video of the night. Already finished my coffee. Still have a little bit to go. We got one more video left and that is it. I can finally go to bed. But I think, yes, these videos are probably are going to ruin my night. As always, guys, until next time, I love your faces and I'm out. Peace.